So I'm literally just about to leave London. First stop, Canada, Toronto. <laughs> I'm just waking up in Toronto. It's 6.30 a.m. and I have jet lag. It feels very, very weird to be waking up in a city where I know absolutely no one. I've also just been getting a lot of messages on Instagram like, when are you gonna tell us what you're doing over in Toronto? Like I actually have a plan. <laughs> I don't have a plan for being here. Sometimes you just need to get away to get over a breakup. You always see those videos on TikTok that are like, I broke up with my boyfriend and I thought my life was over, but then I made my van into my home and now I'm happy. Toronto is my like pit stop to get to LA because you can't get to LA by flying directly into the UK anymore. So I had to be in a different country for 14 days before. I've always wanted to come to Toronto. Toronto is more of like, it's like more, like more of like a home away from home. So I'm renting a flat where I'm staying by myself. I can get my work done. I'm gonna be working on my book idea. But I guess the main thing really is to get over this fucking heartbreak. But yeah, anyway, enough of this in the morning. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Had my first wank here last night. So I'm just about to go out and explore Toronto for the first time. I'm excited and I'm kind of nervous. Let's get it, Toronto. These little houses are first matcher in Canada. It actually feels so weird um, just walking around by myself, but it's all good. Second day in Toronto. It's really fucking weird being in a country that I've never been to before all by myself. And I'm definitely feeling like the feels. But I also feel like this could be like the ultimate test to find happiness like in myself, by myself. Yesterday I explored um, Toronto. It's a really interesting city because I think I came here with expectations that it was gonna be really like London. It's not like London. It's definitely more like New York. Interesting vibes actually, because there's like a few streets that really look very New Orleans-y and it's very, very gray outside. It's very humid and muggy. I wish I had someone to show me around. I'm definitely like feeling like I'm not really too sure about going out like in the evening by myself, like to get food or to drink at a bar. Like I'm quite a shy person. I'm not like a huge extrovert. So doing things like this is really hard for me. Today I'm cracking on recording the podcast with the London crew. Podcast setup, construction site. Thanks, Gail. Hey guys, watch me draw this down. Yeah. I am so sorry, curious fuckers. Wow, look at the actual view though. I really wanted to start writing my book whilst I'm here in Toronto because I feel like these two weeks are a really good place to start the journey. I'm finally by myself in a different city all across the other side of the world, all by myself. Anyway, I'll check in um, with you guys later. Look at the fucking size of the oat milk giant coffee mug for my protein shake. Just did the first podcast recording away from home. It is not even midday yet. I am so fucking tired. I've just really like noticed how much I'm a craving attention from people. I want like people to be talking to me. I'm like on the dating apps more. I'm like wanting the people I'm chatting to on the dating apps to be like wanting to talk to me all the time, which is just so ridiculous. I just feel lonely being here. I almost just need to sit here in my loneliness and be like, actually, this is okay. And what my therapist would say to me is, what is it that my inner child is wanting right now? How can I be there for my inner child? So I'm gonna have a little think about that. Just trying to feel comfortable being lonely and by myself um, and yeah.
So I kind of fucked up my leg yesterday from walking too much. So today I've been resting. I've been doing a little bit of work, but mostly watching Netflix. Now I'm off on my first date. My first date since the breakup, I realized. No pressure, huh? But anyway, it's a guy that I have been chatting to on field and he seems really nice. And we're gonna go to the beach and have some wine. Anyway, so I'm ready. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes because <laughs> I'm really nervous. So I'm just on a date in this area. This is where he took me. What a view, guys. What a view. Very cute day. It's now two days after that. <laughs> the date was good. I think, like, I'm looking for that magic. I'm looking for that spark. I'm looking for that connection. You know what I'm finding really hard is that I had such a great relationship and, like, sexual relationship with my ex that it's gonna be so hard to not compare and i think like the date was really really nice like we had really really good chats like it was interesting conversation um i just wasn't really attracted to him not that he was he wasn't like not attractive it was just chemistry i think i think it was just biological chemistry but yeah i did you know i was feeling super horny and i wanted to go home to his and i wanted to have some sex so we went back to his and all my days like he shocked me with his cunnilingus skills he was using like his fingers as well as his like tongue and like you know when you're just like, what the fuck are you doing down there? I don't know what you're doing. It feels great. Continue. That was amazing. I had a really good orgasm from that. I think it was like the sex for me that I just couldn't connect with that. And especially as I'd already had like a good orgasm, which kind of meant that I was like, uh, it could kind of just be done. I obviously didn't want to leave him hanging after giving me such amazing oral sex as well so we had sex and then i went home and he walked me all the way home actually he was a really nice guy like 100 percent would be friends with him but there wasn't like that sexual connection between us i don't think he necessarily felt it either but a lot of people like don't really need that connection to have like a good time with sex but i'm definitely one of those people that need i just need that because i've experienced like how amazing that can be but it was cool like it was a good experience and it was great to like hang out with someone here in toronto so yeah that was my day and today it's fucking raining put on like a cool outfit to go out in even though it's raining i'm gonna have a little wander around i'm gonna go grab a matcha and then take a walk in the rain i think there's a matcha place down the road the coffee shop that's what they're called right just over a week now since i have been in toronto i am feeling properly settled i am loving it here yesterday was a glorious sunny day and it was warm i was walking around in my little dress and it was really cool um and also like some fun things happened like just before my podcast recording i went down to the cafe down the end of the road to get a matcha latte i was talking to this guy from field and he was like just around the corner from me and he was just like hey so do you fancy like going on a quick walk or something before your podcast and i was just like why not it was really sweet and also it was someone it was weirdly like someone that i hadn't really been talking to like that much we met up for this walk he's super cute the walk went really well he sent me a text afterwards being like you look really sexy in that little black dress and i was like mm, okay you look super cute too and yeah we agreed to meet up yesterday evening and we were talking about going for a movie but then we decided to just do a netflix and chill session so i went over to his in the evening and we watched a scary film and we had sex twice and it was so nice i have been told that as a gemini a libra is a really good match for me and i've got a couple of friends that are libras and we get on really really well and like this guy's a libra and there was this instant comfortability this instant click like we were automatically friends 
we just like basically went into his bedroom i could hardly know this guy went into his bedroom and we were just like having a little cuddle and i was just like this feels like so comfortable and i was feeling that kind of like chemical attraction towards him you know what i was a little bit scared about meeting him because on his field profile it said like well endowed eight inches plus and that's big i feel like everyone thinks that everyone like everyone wants a big dick mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's more about the right fit but i was quite worried because i've had dicks that are on the larger side but i'm not sure if i've ever had one that's fucking eight inches so i was a bit scared I'm not gonna lie but it all worked out completely fine and it was absolutely fine i was like okay so my vagina is a lot deeper than i thought it was um <laughs> It was good. It was good. And now I have a little like Toronto Bay. So I'm going to see him again a couple of times before I leave. And that's really cool and really nice and something really exciting. Anyway, I guess the next half of the vlog is going to be me visiting Niagara Falls. I did a podcast the other day with Smut Podcast and they were fucking fabulous. And they have invited to take me to Niagara Falls and I'm going to vlog the whole process. So I will see you guys then. Um, that's going to be a really exciting vlog and I can't wait for you to, to meet them because they are these incredible women. I laughed so much on the podcast so I can't wait to hang out with them in person. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Sending all the love. Let me know if you're enjoying the series, if you want more, if you're like, this is really boring. Bring back Reed. <laughs> I mean, obviously you want Reed here but she can't be here so... What am I what am I gonna do? What am, what am I gonna do? Anyway, bye!